Namaste. Now many people use the technique of Dasha Bhukti and they want to know how to use the Dasha Bhukti in a very positive and in very effective manner. Now generally there are two levels of Dasha Bhukti. One is Sun, Mars, Rahu Ketu, Saturn is considered as the malefic Dasha Bhuktis. And the positive Dasa Bhuktis are Guru, Venus, Mercury, all that thing is considered as the positive Dasa Bhukti. Now, the main problem with many people is the many of the middle class people get caught in the negative Dasa Bhukti. For example, generally Rahu Dasha for middle class people will be very, very difficult. Generally, Saturn Dasha will be very, very difficult. Generally, Mars Ketu Dasha will be very, very difficult for the middle class people. Now, in a benefic Dasha Bhukti, now many people will have benefic results. That is, if you take the Bhukti, for example, Parashura writes in his, uh, in his Parasura Hora, if it is Jupiter, Venus, it is considered very good. If it is Jupiter, Mercury, Jupiter Dasha, Mercury Bhukti is considered very good. If it is uh, Jupiter Dasha, Moon Bhukti is considered very good. So there are two versions to it. The benefic Dasha Bhuktis in a benefic Dasha will act good. And a malefic Dasha Bhukti, yeah, malefic Bhukti, that is Jupiter Dasha, Rahu Bhukti, Jupiter Dasha, Saturn Bhukti, Jupiter Dasha, Mars Bhukti might not give so much of results according to the great Parashura. Now in a malefic Dasha Bhukti, Rahu Dasha, Saturn Bhukti, Rahu Dasha, Ketu Bhukti, Rahu Dasha, Mars Bhukti are generally a very very difficult Dasha Bhuktis for people. So that is the first context by which you will see. But sometimes what happens is people have a benefic Dasha Bhukti and they are having a problem that is because you have to see from the dasha if there are many planets in 6, 8, 12. That is the problem. For example, somebody might have a Jupiter dasha bhakti. Now, Jupiter might be in Nina, and the Jupiter, a lot of planets might be in Simma and in Tula. So, those kind of dasha bhakti can have problems across. If there are many planets in the 6, 8, 12 from the Dasha Lord, then they will have a variety of issues across. So that is the first problem in Dasha Bhukti reading. You have to put the Dasha or the Bhukti Lord and you have to see whether many planets are placed in the 6, 8, 12. If many planets are placed in the 6, 8, 12, you can be rest assured that Bhukti is going to have problem. Now, which is the very, very important time in the Dasha Bhukti? Now, that is a big question mark. It is very, very simple. Now, whenever Saturn transit a Bhukti lot, a Bhukti house, for example, you are having Venus and in Rishabha, that place is transited by Saturn, that particular Bhukti becomes very, very important. Now, the coinciding of the Bhukti with that of transit. If Rahu transit, then that Bhukti might be difficult. If Jupiter transit, that Bhukti might be easy. So, that is the main thing with the Dasha Bhukti. Then you can add as the sun, you can add the moon, all those particular things. But basically, many planets from 6, 8, 12 from the Dasha is is the main issue, which is the main problem across. So, thank you so much for watching and you will have more technical things with regard to the Dasha Bhakti.